Matt Carter is the director and co-writer of In From The Side, set in the world of gay rugby clubs. Uh, when two players find themselves in quite a situation after a night out, the film is getting a Chicago premiere on September 23rd as part of the Reeling Film Festival. Hello, Matt. Uh, I love this movie. It's one of my favorite ones I've seen so far of the fest. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much for saying so. Uh, rugby is a part of your life. Let's talk a little bit about the inspiration for this film. Okay, so I mean, I've been involved in inclusive rugby in the UK for about eight years now, both as a player, coach, referee. And, you know, it's something that um, has always been a big part of my life. Uh, it's such a rich culture with so many sort of specific things that make it, you know, make rugby what it is. And I thought it was just something that really would lend itself to being put on film. And really, you know, it's, it's kind of heavily underexplored rugby. It's not a sport that I've seen many films of, to be honest. And um and I just thought I, I felt really inspired to sort of do something set in that world, and uh, and sort of you know to make a love story set in that world to make it kind of more accessible to to a wider audience that aren't just sort of into the sport. So that's kind of the that was the inspiration of the, of the project really. There was a moment in, in a night for Warren and Mark that changed everything. Let's talk a little bit about their dynamic and the two of them kind of coming together. Yes, I mean they're, they're played by the amazing Alex Lincoln and Alexander King. You know, just sensational actors. They've got such amazing chemistry and. Uh, you know, for Mark and Warren, they, they were just the perfect fit, really. Um, and you know, I, I love the way they tell the story and the way they sort of portray those characters. Um, and yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a forbidden love story that I think is sort of unique in the sense that it doesn't stem from homophobia, which I think you get in a lot of kind of gay love stories where you know the reason they can't be together is because the world can't accept them. Whereas actually, the reason that these two characters can't can't be together is because they both have partners. Um, and a bit spoiler alert there, but uh, you know, it's a, it's very much a sort of a morally complex film. That's very non-judgmental. It sort of talks about you know a lot of interesting things with uh, open relationships and stuff that I think is you know is massive in the gay community that I don't think I've really seen explored much on on film either. And it's sort of I think it very much holds a mirror up to us and sort of looks at the things that we do and the you know the love that we we share for each other. And it's uh yeah it's it's a lot of things. <laughs> I mean I think yeah I think you're absolutely you know 100 right. Especially no two relationships look alike. But I think a lot of people have found themselves in those kind of situations on a night out where either. You act on something or you don't or you want to or, you know, and I think so many people can relate to a lot of the storylines here in this uh, in this film. Yeah, I think yeah, it's very much a case of these two characters sort of uh, find each other and they and sometimes it's very hard to say no to, to your emotions and love can come out of very strange places. And, you know, uh, when you least expect it um, and, you know, like, you know, do you chase down those impulses or do you say no? And it's, you know, it's very much an exploration of that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the world of uh, of rugby, because especially, you know, in the United States, sometimes, you know, for gay men and people, the LGBTQ plus community, it's been tough to be part of sports, especially in their teenage years and maybe not excelling. And it's not maybe till later in life that they find a league where they can play, uh, you know, rugby or volleyball or, or, you know, any of the any sports that, you know, that they would like to and finding a community there. Um, what's it like, especially audiences, especially as the film's been around, you know, a couple of the festivals being able to relate to, to in the world of sports? I think, you know, for the reasons you said, it, it was resonated quite a lot with people because it's going to have a universal experience for sort of queer people to have maybe had a really bad experience in school, with, you know, um, you know, uh, having doing sport and thinking it's never for them and ne never visiting it again. And I think, you know, there's a, a huge wealth of talent in the LGBT community of sport and also just sort of the well-being that sport can bring to people. And I think that I really hope that when people watch the film, that you know, even, even not even just rugby, but they sort of feel, oh, I'll look up my local sports club and, you know, or is there an inclusive sort of uh, sports club locally for the sport that I'm interested in? I realise that actually sport is kind of for everyone. It's not just, uh, you know, something for the heteronormative world, and especially something like rugby, which is a much more physically demanding sport, that that's also, you know, gay men can play rugby and that, that's completely normal and there's nothing sort of unusual about that really. And let's talk a little bit about the friendship and uh, the teamwork, because not only do we see the relationship between Warren and Mark, but there's a lot of friendships that go on within this world of, of rugby. Yeah, I mean, it was very important to kind of have like lots of secondary characters fleshed out because it's a rugby team. You know, it's not just the two central characters. You know, we we try to sort of make many of the secondary characters interesting and they have their own little arcs and, you know, storylines. And the, it just explores the different kind of connections you get in a group like that. I mean, we use the sort of term in, in the film rugby family quite a lot. And it really is, you know, and you, there's very few situations where you have a lot of very different people hanging out routinely with, you know, with each other who might not always get along and how, how the dramas that kind of come with that kind of environment, you know, it's not always good, you know, it's a mixture of things and, uh, you know, how people can sort of find common ground and essentially come together to sort of play this sport, which is why they're all there. Uh, you said that rugby has been a part of your life for almost a decade. How do you feel that that's changed you as a person and ultimately creating this, this film? I mean, I think uh, getting back into sport as an adult really sort of, you know, built my confidence. It sort of became a massive part of my life, you know, improved my fitness. 
you know, you, you can improve your social circle. Uh, you know, I think uh, that's kind of one of the reasons I made, so wanted to make this film really as well, so that it encourages other people to to get that benefit in their life. Because it really, it does change lives. You know, when you kind of join a, a rugby team, it's about kind of finding your tribe. It's that you get that deep sense of belonging that perhaps a lot of people don't have, where you sort of hang around people who are the, who are the you know, the same interest and you're there for the same sort of reason. And you build those very deep friendships and bonds with people that, it's uh, it's quite powerful, really, and I think for me it was it was certainly powerful in changing my life. Going back to to Warren and Mark, uh, depending on who you ask and what part we are in the movie, they both seem very happy and very torn at the exact same time. Let's talk a little bit about the dynamic of the two of them. You know, kind of from the outside, you know, seeming like they have everything in the world, but not feeling that same way. You know, in the inside. Yeah, I think it's um they're very divisive characters, both of them, I think. You know, a lot of people come out of the film saying, especially with Warren, I think, saying, Am I supposed to feel sorry for them? You know, the uh and the both actors sort of say, you know, what do you think? You know, how do you feel about them? Because, you know, they, they do a lot of sort of morally complex things and they're not perfect people and um, you know, and their their relationship is very tumultuous. You know, they, there's moments where they're super happy, then they they you know they they fall out, and and that's just that, that that's love, right? That those those are the kind of situations that form sort of those kind of relationships and those sort of deep, intense sort of romances. And um, um, yeah, I, th- I think you know it, they they're very interesting, morally complex people, and they're very great. They're really great fun to write, and I think the the actors really enjoy playing them as well. Just as you mentioned that right now, what's it been like, especially the feedback from some of the festivals? How you say people have an opinion as far as you know Mark and Ward or some of the other teammates as far as like you know oh they should have done this and they should have done that. Do you get a lot of fans coming up to you? Oh, all the time. I mean, I won't spoil. I won't spoil the ending, but you know, the ending is obviously a divisive one, and and I think the film does definitely promotes a lot of discussion of all sorts, really, because there's so much, there's so many uh, themes. It's very deeply layered and and rich in terms of the amount of stuff it, it covers, and it kind of in, on every level it promotes lots of discussion, and especially with you know, uh, you know, should the characters do what they do, or, you know, who who do they who do people relate to, and there's so many different subplots and storylines that I think sort of speak to many parts of the gay experience. So I think you know it it has it has raised a lot of kind of feedback of all sorts really you know positive and negative you know some people sort of feel very angry at the end and some people feel sort of you know think that these two we, we shouldn't be feeling sorry for these characters or you know or we should be feeling sorry for them more you know it's 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 a it's great that it sparks such conversation you know it's, as a filmmaker it's really wonderful to sort of see those kind of conversations happening i also think it's sparking so many emotions because i think so many people have been the warren the mark you know a lot of the other characters in the film and you just it brings it out in you because we normally haven't seen something like this you know, on screen before. So I think that's kind of invoking all those emotions because you feel those, you know, those past things that, you know, possibly could have happened in, in your own life that are being reflected on uh, on the screen. Yeah, I think, you know, we we decided very early on that we weren't going to have any homophobia or coming out storylines. And once you sort of free yourself of that, it really allows you the screen time to explore all the sort of different types of, you know, uh, experiences within the gay community. And I think, um, you know, there, there's so many different characters that are relatable in so many different ways. You know, we've all had a best friend who we sort of have a, a crush on who doesn't fancy us back. We've all kind of had, you know, been the person who maybe had a bit too much drink at a party. There's all these sort of different uh, you know, we've, we've, lots of people have sort of carry around trauma, and there's different characters uh, who who manifest that past trauma in different ways, whether that's positively or negatively. And I think, yeah, that there's so many so many different characters in there that I think everyone relates to someone in the film. With you know, with a lot of sports movies, that someone you know can't come out or someone teammates don't don't accept them, and you get a little bit of like what you created in this movie, maybe like five or ten percent, but this gives us one hundred percent a movie you know that's just for us that we can just enjoy without the world of, of homophobia and being able to just see what you know what a storyline is like this and this is just you know one of my favorite films of the uh, of the festival so far oh that's great thank you no i, I mean i agree i think you know uh you, it's very easy to get bogged down with homophobia and coming out stories because that's such a, a huge thing in itself once you it's hard for that not to take over the plot almost so we almost had to make, agree that we none of that in the film at all so that we had all that time to sort of explore the other stuff and um yeah i mean i think uh it is a film sort of for you know for us and i think i think you've got to be very forward thinking when you're talking about gay cinema because it's very I mean, there's obviously a place for coming out of homophobia storylines to be told, but I think there's lots of people telling those stories. And I don't really see many people telling other sides of the stories, you know, the, all the other stories that come from the community. And I think, you know, uh, you also kind of have to be sort of forward thinking in the sense you've got to model the world that you want to see. And I think, you know, the film is a kind of no one experiences homophobia in the film. and They're just a, a group of gay characters in with each other, you know, in the same sort of environment. Um, and we get to watch that kind of drama. And that's for us. You know, for me, I, I thought that was fascinating. That was something I really was quite passionate about. Well, Matt, this, this is a wonderful film and I can't wait for everybody to see it. September 23rd as part of the Reeling Film Festival. ReelingFilmFest.org is where you can go ahead and get those tickets and much success for this film. And uh, I can't wait for your next project. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Good speaking to you. You too. Thank you so much.